Hi, this is Ben Brophy. Um, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Linkwalla and start adding links. Uh, my goal here is to show you how easy this can be. So this is my website, benbrophy.com, and uh, if you land here, you can click on the Linkwalla link and download Linkwalla from Sourceforge. So Linkwalla is a uh, I assume you know if you're watching the movie, but Linkwall is an easy way to sort of create a, a lightweight link blog without having to use databases or anything like that. And the latest release uh, focuses on being easy to install, so uh, this live demo is sort of a, a test of that. So right, download the latest release. And let's see, this is the one we want right here. Here it comes. Okay, I've downloaded it onto my hard drive. I'm opening up the folder, it comes as a zip file. And this is what you'll see inside the folder. Okay, so there's a whole bun there's a bunch of files here. Uh, the README has some instructions that will are the things that we'll be doing here now. Uh, the main thing you want to do is just upload this into a onto your web server. You need to have a web server to to use this. So. You can also do it on your own computer if you know how to uh, set up a web surfing from your computer. So let's see, transmit is a FTP program, and all you have to do is upload the files to your FTP, to your server. So I'm going to open up uh, benbrophy.com. Now, I've already got Linkwalla installed running my own blog, but to show you what it would look like in a new one, I'll just create a new folder. I'll call it links. And okay, so here's my new empty links folder. And I'm gonna go over to my desktop here. Here's Linkwalla. I'll just get, take all these files and copy them on over. Just a moment, but link wall is all in all pretty small, so this doesn't take too long. Okay, that's everything. So I put it in a folder called links at benbrophy.com. I'm just going to go back to my browser. There's benbrophy.com. And I created this folder called links. So I'm going to type in links here. It takes you right to the Linkwalla installer. It knows that you haven't installed Linkwalla yet because you don't have created any links. So the first thing you need to do is make up a password. Um, so I'll just uh, call this one password for now, even though that's not what I would really do. Oops, I just typed in there. Confirm that. Make sure you remember it. Um, you can change these settings at any time. Well, you can change the number of settings, but by default, it's going to show 15 links on the page. You can make up a title for your new link blog. Um, it does its best, LinkWall does its best to figure out where you are right now. This is usually correct, so you don't have to change it. And then um, a description, you know, this is going to come along, this goes along with your RSS feed. Not sure anybody will really ever see it, but you can make sure that's right. And uh, put in your email address so that that will go along with your RSS feed if you want to. And then say save, and Linkwalla goes ahead and it will start uh, creating all the directories and files you need to get started. So it looks like uh, if everything's green, it means everything worked. You'll see red errors if anything didn't work out.
and uh, I will go ahead. Uh, we'll only show you the bookmark at bookmark that actually. Uh, using those are pretty easy, so um, I'm just going to show my bookmarks bar. I had it hidden for this, but you can just click the bookmarklet, drag it up to your bookmarks bar, and that should work. So that's plus that you'll see that it's this what has been made to work with this new site. And you can go right over to your new Linkwalla blog. So this has all been installed, but you'll see there's a little warning here uh, that says that Linkwalla has been installed, but you still have the installer sitting on the system. So that means anybody who knew about that installer could go in and change around your blog, delete everything. So just click here and it removes the installer. You don't have to worry about it again. You're all set. Um, so a link while it comes with this one link to start with, but adding links is as simple as clicking the add link button and you can add you know, a link to whatever you want. So uh, let's see. Um, good, good book publisher is O'Reilly.net. Save that, and Linkwalla is now uh, writing the link to an XML file for you. There you go. Uh, and if you ever need to edit, you can do the same thing. Edit it right here. Uh, let's see, I'll say, especially the Hacks books, the Hacks series. By the way, this also uses Markdown, so uh, you can look up Markdown. It's a, it's a simple way to create HTML without needing to, like, um, you can use asterisks to create um, uh, lists, for example. And it will create the HTML for you, just like that. And when you need to remove the link, you can just go ahead, click Remove, and it's gone. So that's one way to add links. Uh, an easier way to add links is to use your bookmarklet. So I created this bookmarklet over here. I just say plus link. And I'm looking at my link list right now, so it's bringing up this page here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because somebody's sending chats over to me while we talk. <laughs> um, Okay, but I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another page. So let's see, I'll go to my uh, Google Reader and look for an interesting link to, to blog right now. So let's see. Over here. Uh, over, okay, I love this photo of a chick with a little line of flowers in it. So it's from Kaki here. Oh, it's from the Shortbee, uh, Shortbee blog. This is, a, this is a great site with old photos. Okay. So it's a little old, but I will say that I will add it here. So I'm going to add with my new link while I link here. You see it pulls in the title for me. If you check the wagon, be a cocky. Save this, and it takes me back to where I was looking. But if I go back to uh, the place where I was just adding my link, there it is. Best Easter images from Shortbeat. Uh, you'll see that it's also it's created archives. So it will keep creating new months as you as you go along. There's an RSS feed that uh, is generated automatically, uh, and you can change some of the the settings that you saw before at any time. There's also delicious and Linkwalla. Uh, I'm mean, sorry, delicious and magnolia integration, um, which you can do pretty simply. I'll probably make that the topic of a different screencast, but uh, all you have to do is edit, edit a file, add in your uh, delicious and magnolia passwords, and uh, you'll be able to add your links to those services at the same time as Linkwalla. So that's about it for the demo. <clears throat> uh, I hope you uh, use Linkwalla, and if you do, um, go to benbrofi.com and send me a note. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.